Fishing in Minecraft can at times be kind of boring and not very interesting, which is why in this video I have collected 4 mods where each will be improving your fishing experience, starting from the small quality of life improvements, moving up to a mod that completely overhauls the fishing mechanic. All the mods will be in the description, they are all on mod Rinth for Fabric 1.20.4 and this first mod is called Fish on the Line. It's for Fabric and it gives a little sound indicator for when you catch a fish on the line. Just go wait for uh, something to actually catch here. I said that way too quickly apparently. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. You get a little bit of a ding. Now by default it is required for you to have it in your offhand for the ding sound to actually appear. However, that is configurable in the config file or if you're using mod menu, easily talkable in game. But yeah, this is just something that I think is really fitting and actually honestly something that is kind of cool. If you're say, just sitting, fishing, having fun and maybe have your focus on another monitor or something, Thing, then you can just go for the the ding in in, in your ears basically <laughs> I like it. Now this next mod is called Recast, made by the same person, and it basically makes it so that fishing gets a little bit not fully AFKable, but it becomes a little bit, as you saw right there, I just right clicked once to reel in and it automatically recasts the line, so I only have to click once instead of clicking twice. This works very well with the ding actually, as you can see here, I just react to the ding, I don't need to keep my eye on the barber, I can much easier do something else while I'm just fishing. It It's just a little quality of life improvement where it just automatically put, pulls out the line again, instead of you having to click twice basically. Now this next mod is called Fishing Aquatica and this is where we get into brand new territory, not just quality of life features. So if we go in here, pixels fishing reworked and it adds a lot more features to fishing. For example, we now have a different tiers when it comes to fishing rod. We have golden fishing rod, we have iron fishing rod, we have diamond tier three and we have another right fishing rod. I, I really love this by the way. And this might be the coolest part. We have a loot crates and we have different kinds of loot crates. So we have basic crate, crate full of fish and various materials obtainable by tier one and tier two fishing rods. And as we go up, you can see the tier actually goes ahead and increases. Mob resource crate, we got rare resource crate. We got a plant crate. This is really, really cool stuff. And we even get fish oil three to planks. That's kind of cool. Fish oil is reported to help people. El 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 that's a word I can't pronounce. This is probably a really, really bad idea, but I'm going to try and drink it. Oh, OK. I, I have tasted, uh, not tasted. I have smelled fish oil and it's not something that I would drink. I, yeah, no, no, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> we also apparently have a swordfish. That's interesting. But most importantly are the fishing rods. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm going ahead and just getting down the durability of these fishing rods so we can see how much durability you get per different tier fishing rod. I should mention as well that I currently do have the other two mods previously mentioned as well installed and I can report they are indeed working even though this is a completely different fishing mod. Ooh, we got a loot crate there with the diamond fishing rod. Would you look at that mob resource crate? That's cool. We'll op be opening a bunch of those in a bit to see what kind of stuff we can expect to see. And there we go. That is the final one. And we got another resource crate. That is cool. All right, so let's see. With the tier one fishing rod, we get 64 durability. So without unbreaking, that is 64 fish. With the golden one, we get 32. That is expected. Uh, iron fishing rod, that is 128, so that is double from the tier 1. Then we have tier 3, which is 256, and netherite at 512. And obviously, if you got this and took Unbreaking 3 on it, it would last a very, very long time. So that is really cool. Also, a thing to note is iron and gold is the same tier. So that's interesting. And we got some resource crates here. I haven't opened these yet. I think you just maybe shift right click to open these, or maybe you break them. You might have to break them. Let's break them. Let's see what we get. And we got some coal and some iron. Okay, that's cool. Mob resource great. I should say as well that I didn't have luck of the sea of the, on these either. Okay, that's kind of cool. That is really cool. You know what? Let's go ahead and get into creative mode. Reset the inventory a bit. And then let's get like a bunch of different types of these. I'm not going to open a lot of them because I want you to explore this as well if you're interested. Don't want to spoil it all. But let's open like four of each. So this is the resource crate. This is the basic crate. 
Then we have the plants crate, the mob resource crate, and then finally the rare resource crate. And now let's see what we get in the different ones. So I'm gonna start off with these. Maybe I should have given myself an axe, huh? All right, yeah, an axe definitely is making this a lot easier. So from that, we got fish, we got coal, and we got gold ingot. Maybe we can get some other stuff as well. Who knows? Let's open the plant. I kind of want to open the plant once. Okay, this is cool, actually. If you're doing maybe an island challenge where you can't leave an island and you want to be able to get like bamboo, cactus, uh, etc. Maybe some other different types of flowers. This is a really cool way of doing so, especially with the sugarcane. I really like that, actually. All right, let's get this one now. Oh, dear. This is a tough one to break. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of redstone, some iron ingots there. That is a block of redstone and a block of clay. Okay, some more iron ingots and some copper and gold there as well. This is really cool. Again, I'm only going to open these four. You could be getting other stuff as well. I don't know what the drop rates are. Uh, definitely, I am going to get a pickaxe for that one, though. Oh, yeah, much better. All right, so these were the... What were they called again? These are the mob resource crate. Right. Let's see what we get here. A bunch of different things, actually. So ba basically, a bunch of the normal uh, hostile mob stuff. So maybe if you're playing in a peaceful world, but still need some of these stuff, fishing could be the way to go with this mod. Finally, we have the highest tier, which looks like gold blocks with a diamond casings. Ooh. Oh, wow. Emeralds. Emerald block glaze rods. Oh, that's really cool, actually. A block of emeralds, four emeralds, two blaze rods, bottles of enchanting, and a pearl. That's actually not too bad. So yeah, overall, I really love this mod. It's not too much. It just adds to the vanilla experience. I really like this. Don't know how do you get the swordfish. I guess you'll have to run with the mod and uh, find out for yourself. Let's move on to the next one. All right, now for the next one, it is called Real Fishing, and it adds a ton of different stuff in here. It says it's an in-development server-side fabric mod that adds a fishing minigame, modular fishing rods, new fish, terrible puns, and much more. Now, to start off with Real Fishing, you need to be able to make the fishing rod bench, which you make just like this. Two planks, two slabs, and two string, and you get the fishing rod bench, which in here, as you can see, we can do some pretty interesting stuff. We are also going to be needing a normal crafting table because the next thing that we need to do is basically make one of these rods. As you can see, we have an oak rod, a spruce rock, acacia, birch, dark oak, jungle, cherry, mangrove, bamboo, crimson, and warped. And every type of wood will behave differently. And the rods are basically just made like this with the different types of uh, wood that you wish to use. Rods have two main properties, their stability and their obstruction pattern. And if that doesn't make much sense to you, don't worry, that is because this mod adds a mini game to fishing. Stability basically affects how well you're able to hold onto the rod. A less stable rod will result in the minigame being faster and more difficult to catch. So I'm going to be using a spruce rod for this one. So I'm going to pick that. And the obstruction patterns are an area of the minigame that the rod obstructs. More stable rods will likely have a bigger obstruction pattern, a price you pay for that added stability. The next thing we need are reels. And as you can see, we have wooden reel, bamboo reel, and copper reel. To make a wooden reel, it is made like this with an iron ingot in the middle. Bamboo reels are made like this and copper reels are made like this. However, note that both the bamboo and the copper one requires the bone work mechanism, which you make like this from fish bones. And you get those by eating cooked fish. Yeah, th this mod is, it has some depth, <laughs> but I love it. Reels slow down the fish's escape. The stronger the reel, the slower the fish will escape. I'm going to go ahead for this one and make a wooden reel, and then I'll make a different fishing rod, maybe from warped rod and a copper reel, and we'll compare the two afterwards. The next thing we are going to be needing are hooks, and as you can see, we have iron hooks, spiked hooks, and weighted hooks. Hooks have a power and fish category, and iron hook, for example, this one right here, is moderately powerful and is best at catching shallow fish. Hooks are only half as powerful when used for fish outside of that category, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are categorized fish. <laughs> 
I, I did say it was the, this mod had depth. But now I'm just going to pick an iron hook for this one. And maybe for our advanced fishing rod down here, we'll do a weighted hook just to do something different. It should be mentioned that certain fish categories of fish can only be caught with certain hooks. For example, deep fish can only be caught with a weighted hook. So let's go ahead and make our brand new fishing rod, assemble rod just like that. And boom, we have a modular fishing rod. The rod is made from spruce. The reel is wooden and the hook is iron hook and it's made by me. And I'm going to go ahead and make this one now, which is now from warped rod, cover reel and a weighted hook instead. Now this mod adds 16 new fish to catch and the mod page says 17 fish if we're being exact. And technically there's 21, but four cannot be caught currently. There's also biome based fishing. Different biomes have different fish. Explore and uh, see what you fish up, I suppose. And with that, I will now want to go ahead and see how it is fishing with this brand new mini game because like I said, there is a mini game and I haven't actually tried this yet. So uh, I want to go ahead and see what we get. There we go. And apparently I think I need to hit maybe the. Oh, OK, so not the, the black areas are basically blocked. I need to hit the yellow areas just like so. There we go. And I caught a kettlefish. OK, let me try that again before I do, though, please let me get lure. Oh, OK, <laughs> you can't put lure on these fishing rods. There we go. All right. So that's a huge block right there. So I'm just going to hold down right click. You can actually hold down right click. But if you hit that, the fish basically goes down, which you can see over there just a little bit. So you've got to hit the yellow area, if you hit it the wrong area, the fish goes back down and tries to escape. And there we go. I caught a gilded fish. And you can actually go ahead and cook this. Nice. Okay, so yeah, the recast ability, the recast mod doesn't work with this mod. However, the ding indicator for when you actually have a bite, that does work. So that's cool. All right, I'm going to try the other fishing rod now and let's see if we get something else. Obviously, I'm now fishing in a river, so I'll get certain fish here. Oh, this is a weird one. I can barely see here. So, OK, there we go. There we go. Oh, I got something else this time. Rosai. That looks kind of creepy. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you can still catch vanilla fish with these custom fishing rods. And I also don't know if other fishing stuff from other mods like this with the with the crates here, if those are able to be caught with the fishing rods. I haven't been able to catch any just yet. Um, maybe if I kept going, but I don't think it's going to work like that because this mod that adds these rods um, have made like biome specific stuff, etc. So I don't think that is doable. However, if you find out anything otherwise, do let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, so overall, I really love this mod. It adds a bunch of new fishes, all of which can be cooked and eaten. It adds a new mechanic for making different rods, etc. And I just really like the uh, the the mechanics here and the fact that you can get different fish from different file biomes is really cool. Oh, we got we got a thing and at the yeah I oh wow, that's a very small window to reel in this fish. <laughs> Come on now, the the it has to be a very strong one. Come on, get there we go. It was another gilded fish. Why? But yeah, overall I approve. And there you have it, some nice, small, but quite valuable fishing mods for Fabric 1.22.4, all very vanilla friendly. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you wish to see more content from me. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.